Do not buy 12 Tribes on Earth hair growth oil and hair magic elixir unless you want super healthy, gorgeous hair that grows. They have a whole line of amazing hair growth products, including hair growth leave-in conditioner spray, hair growth shampoo, hair growth spray, and hair growth butter. I'm starting to sense a theme here. They include quality natural ingredients. They smell amazing. And you can see the results for yourself. So if you're looking for healthy hair growth for your natural or relaxed hair, try 12 Tribes on Earth today. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, according to Forbes, there is a comet that has not been seen for 180,000 years. And once it's gone, it won't be seen for another 600,000 years. So it's visible after sunset. Only if you know where to look. So this is C2024 G3. Some people also call it Atlas. And some people call it G3. And said, this is potentially going to be the brightest comet you will see in the sky for 2025. It's sure a lot of things going on up in the sky. So, they said that it is totally amazing to see this from orbit. And Atlas C 2024 G3 is paying a visit. So, people are saying it's pretty spectacular up in the sky. I'll see if I can get a glimpse of it one day. And they said this comet is so bright in the sky, it can be seen with the naked eyes. So, you don't need any special telescope or binoculars or anything like that. An exceptional long period comet due to its highest elongated orbit. So, <clears throat> the closest point to the sun will occur on, well, it has occurred on the 13th. And it survived despite coming within 8.3 million miles from the sun. That's less than a third of the distance of Mercury, which is the average distance from the sun. Though it could still rival NASA Parker Solar Probe. And it said it survived getting just 3.86 million miles away from the sun's surface. That's NASA Probe. Okay. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how they estimated that this thing last was seen 180,000. Not unless, you know, they still got our stolen info that they're going by, which could definitely be the case. So, how to see the comet? The comet is best seen in the southern hemisphere, where it is shining at a 1.8 magnitude high enough above the horizon to easily be seen. To see the comet tonight from the northern hemisphere, you'll have to wait until the sky is dark. And, you know, it will be low on the western horizon. So, you, you know, they said you should be able to see it without any help, but, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt if you want to use a, a pair of binoculars or a telescope, but you should be able to see it immediately uh, after sunset. The further south you are in the west, uh, I'm sorry, the further south you are in the northern hemisphere, the more chance you will have to see this. So, <clears throat> What location can you see this comet from? If you want to know exactly where to see the comet tonight, from your location, use Stellarium Lab. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's an app 
where you can see a lot of the stars and planets and everything on Stellarium. And I actually have it. I have not been in that app for ages. It's like one of those apps I have, but I don't always go in that app. So it's an in-browser online planetarium app that allows you to pinpoint exactly where the comet is and even mark or by default on the virtual sky map. This comet was discovered in April of 2024 by NASA Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, which certain, you know, and what this thing does, it searches for different objects that are up in the sky. So initially they said it was so bright that they thought it was Venus in the sky and currently shining brilliantly in the west after sunset. The Comet C 2024 G3 Atlas future is uncertain. So we shall see. I'm going to see if I can get a glimpse of it. I hope I can, you know, and I'll let you know if I can see it. I mean, if it's bright enough where you can see it with the naked eye, maybe I'll take my phone out there and see if I can record it. So we shall see, y'all. Please tell me what you think about this story. It is so many things. There's a planet alignment going on as well. You know, I don't know if any of you know about it, but yeah, there's a planetary alignment going on up in the sky. It is like things happening on top of each other. And don't forget, on the inauguration day, the sun will enter Pluto and align with Pluto on the same day that Trump will be inaugurated as the president of the United States. So it will be an interesting journey this year for real. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.